All right, so let's start with the most important thing I bought, a key fob. This process is gonna be similar for other early 2000s Foresters. I had a WRX, it was about the same. The Outback should be the same. The Legacy should be about the same for the similar generations. Basically, if your key fob looks like this and you've got an older Subaru, the process is probably gonna be about the same. What you gotta do is make sure all the doors are closed to begin with, unlock all the doors in the vehicle, uh, rear hatch or trunk has to be closed as well. The way that worked for me, if you have a manual transmission car, what you have to do is you open and close the door for the driver's side while all the doors in the vehicle are unlocked. Have to keep the clutch held down. I've heard on automatics you have to keep the brake held down. I just toggle it from the on to the off position, not all the way back to the lock, just from the on to the off. Did that 10 times, you will hear a beep. Leave it in the on position. Open and close the driver's side door. Press the lock button on the key fob, which is the big orange one in this case. It should be once or twice once you do that. And then if you have more remotes, what you do is you open and close the door again, hit lock again, do that for every remote you have. When you're all done, just pull the key out. It should beep three times to let you know programming mode's done. Now ready for the grand finale? Yeah, look at that. 20 bucks, now I've got a working key fob. There you go, thanks for watching.